Uh, good day to everyone. The topic that I will share today is how to find the course to alter in order to have a good or let's say two nautical miles CPA after you observe a zero CPA from the target uh, like what we have on our uh, sample exercise. Okay, so now our own ship course is 0, 0, 0 degrees with uh, 11 knots. Okay, 0, 0, uh, 0 degrees with uh, 11 knots. Okay, so the first bearing of the target at uh, 1100 is 0, 080 0 degrees 12.2 miles so uh, this is it this will be the first bearing with a range of 12.2 nautical miles so this will be our R so this will be the R okay so the next bearing at uh, 1106 hours, uh, bearing is 080 0 degrees with a range of 10.8 miles. So, this will be our uh, second uh, bearing. So, this is letter small m. At 1100 hours, this is, this is 11.06. Then the third bearing at 11.12 uh, hours, bearing is 0, 080 0 degrees, 9.6 miles. So, this will be the third bearing. So, let's say uh, this will be small m, m2, m2. Okay, at 11, 12. Okay, now we are going to connect from the first bearing to the third bearing. So this will be our RML. So as you can see, we have a zero CPA. So our CPA is zero. So we have a zero CPA. And now we are going to get the TCPA. On a what time we're going to have a collision so tcpa equals distance over speed so to get the distance you have to measure from m2 to cpa so from uh, m2 to cpa is 9.6 Divided by your relative speed, which is uh, 12 knots. So, you will have a 0 0.8. 0 0.8 times 60. So, you will have a 48 minutes. So, the time of the time of M2 is... 11 12 plus uh, 48 minutes so the tcpa is 1200 so around 1200 there will be a collision so now so we have, we have a 1200 the tcpa is 1200 
Now we are going to get the true course. So to get the true course, you have to bring your uh, original course bring your original course to R so to get the true course bring the original course to R okay Then, in order to get the distance from R to get the E, so distance is equals to speed times time. So, uh, our own ship speed is 11 knots times uh, 0 0.1 uh, interval of 6 minutes divided by 60 so 0 0.1 so uh, distance is 1.1 so we are going to uh, measure 1.1 in order to have the E okay so 1.1 so this will be our E. Okay. So now we are going to connect the E to M in order to get the true course. Okay. So connect from uh, E to M. Then E to M, then I bring it to the center. So you will have now the true course 307. So we have now the true course of uh, 307 degrees. So now we are going to get the NRML. But uh, before that, we are going to know the required uh, points of execution or the MX which is uh, 6 nautical miles to have a CPA of 2 nautical miles. So we have the required MX or the point of execution which is 6 miles to have a CPA of uh, 2 nautical miles. So uh, what we are going to do now is to measure the 6 nautical miles. So 6 nautical miles by the way, uh, our scale is 2 is to 1. Okay, so we have now the 6 nautical miles from the center. Okay, so this will be the MX. 6 nautical miles so this will be the MX or the point of execution or the point to alter course then 